So, things to take. A towel. It's not a brand new, right? I'm a genius. I'm taking a towel with me. Of course I am. Sun cream. Because uh, the, the, the sun is pretty harsh in here. You shouldn't really protect your skin. A pair of slides. Just in case I want to be more comfortable and don't let the sand get into my shoes. And of course, a tank top. If in case I want to be more comfortable without the shirt. Okay, let's go. Yo, I can literally go to there and Mooney's Bay is right there. It's like that's where it ends. I can go right there. <laughs> okay, let me grab my scooter before it goes. What? What's in there? Really? Yeah, Why aren't you picking these? Are these more expensive? No, no, no. I don't want to wear them. Oh, these have to wear them? Okay. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> pretty good actually these you have to wear a helmet but those apparently don't need have you checked how much is it did you check like those how much do you have to pay oh i already have the app it's uh 35 cents a minute 35 cents a minute that's not bad let's go <laughs> do your best What is it? Oh, it's like welded metal. <laughs> That's such an interesting house. Yeah, I see. I don't know what's going on here. It seems something serious. Oh, CTV is here. CTV? It's just, it's just waiting for like... Actually, if you want to uh, interview Amelia kaplan Marth, she's the one who actually started the event. She's the doctor behind it, but she's just vaccinating people right now. So oh, that's fine, that's fine. I got it. So right this is a way of like encouraging people to get the vaccine. Yeah, well, Neely Kaplan Marth is a community doctor. This is her office here, and oh. she took it upon herself to do these mass clinics. So she's been vaccinating her own patients, but also hundreds of patients in the community. So this is the I think it's the fourth jab of flu that she's done. Mm -hmm. and I think there's about 500 people getting the shots today. Oh, that's nice. This yeah. both smart and generous. It is. It's really <laughs> so you park it here, you lock it, then. We go the rest of the way with mine. This is damn peaceful. Yeah, I like it. What happened is that <laughs> the rental scooters cannot really go that far from the downtown. So uh, Aaron had to park somewhere and we assumed that we can take this together to get to the beach. But apparently it was like at least 15 minutes. So it was pretty far away. He decided to take an Uber. I'm getting on the pass, on the bike pass that is just next to the canal or river or whatever it's called. It's just so spectacular and we're gonna meet each other at the beach again. This place actually looks so good. So many families are just having fun. I'm almost there, but I'm just trying to take my time, have fun. Look at this place. Look at those people. I don't know if you can see them. Let me show you. You see those tiny people having fun in the middle of water? <laughs> Look 
at this. We can get ice cream here. <laughs> Hello. Hey, we got here. <laughs> I wish you could show your, your no. towel. <laughs> he has a towel with his dog's face on it. <laughs> Printed. <laughs> this actually looks good. You can do it till like, 360. Hmm? I'm doing it 360. So good. It's not too hot. It's just good. What are these guys doing? I'm wondering. <laughs> Seriously, what are they doing? It just doesn't matter how much we try to cool ourselves down, it's too hot. We try to splash water all over our bodies, but still it doesn't work. It's freaking hot. I don't know how much value you got out of this, but I just want to say that Ottawa is not a bad city. You just have to find the fun. Everywhere, I guess you have to do that. Well, I'm gonna go and play volleyball with these guys. Have fun! Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.